connect in the back of the net Greek football has seen better days. The financial crisis, corruption and fan trouble has cast a dark shadow over the domestic game. Olympiakos, a club surrounded by corruption allegations, has dominated the Greek Super League for the past seven years, but their success in Greece has not transformed to European glory. Panathinaikos are on the brink of being sent to the Greek third division for bankruptcy, and Thessaloniki giants PAOK failed to qualify for the UEFA Europa League group stages after an embarrassing loss to Sweden's Ostersunds. Panathinaikos' plight signifies the state of Greek football. Greece is only club to reach a European final. The Greens have struggled financially for a number of years and haven't been able to challenge Olympiakos' tight grip on the Super League's trophy. Wearing thin fans' patience is wearing thin, especially given the team's shocking start to the new campaign. They did begin the season with a points deficit of two after an overrunning punishment from last season, but the Athenians have won only one of their first five games. However, the reason behind their lackluster performances has become clear. Just two days before a Super League fixture against Panitolikos, club president Yanis Alafuzos announced his intentions to leave Panathinaikos, a decision which could leave the Greens filing for bankruptcy and facing automatic relegation to Greece's third division. Nevertheless, there is one club which appears to be in a stable position. Stability at AEK AEK Athens have slowly returned to the top of Greek football, reaching two consecutive Greek Cup finals and making the Europa League group stages for their first time in six years. In decent financial nick, the capital club have been able to keep the leading figures and bolster their squad with quality European players. Spanish head coach Manolo Jimenez has won the hearts of AEK fans in his second stint at the club, raising hopes of a realistic title run in the Super League. Despite making a fantastic start to the Greek season, AEK's medal was going to be tested in a massive derby match against Olympiakos on September 24. Coming into the game, Olympiakos sat on the brink of another crisis. The Piraeus outfit had failed to win in either of their previous two league games against Xanthi and Astoros Tripolis, scoring only two goals in the process. With head coach Besnik Hasi reportedly on the verge of losing his job, Olympiakos players knew that they had to put in a big performance. Strong start inside a packed Athens Olympic Stadium, AEK made a strong start. Sergio Arayo missed a gaping net in the very first minute, before Rodrigo Garlos' stinging long-range drive was palmed over by Steven Escapino. Olympiakos were on the back foot, but they broke the deadlock against the run of play. A quick throw fooled the AEK defence, former Chelsea player Marco Marim found space in the penalty area, and he beat Yanis Anastas with a beautiful lob. Two AEK's horror, Vardis Ojajayov Sarod effort made it 0-2 in the first minute of the second half. The hosts were looking down and up but they soon recovered. Dangerous winger Lazaros Christodilopoulos got AEK on the board with 25 minutes remaining, unleashing a fierce volley which squirmed under Stefanos Capino. Momentum never hindered the match was stopped for eight minutes after tear gas crept into the stadium, however AEK DIDNT lose their momentum. The Athenians' incessant pressure finally paid off in the final ten minutes. AEK won a free kick around 35 yards out, Lazarus stepped up, and he struck. A simply stunning shot into the far right corner. A candidate for goal of the season captain Petros Mantelos completed the astounding comeback in the final minute, turning Marco Lavage's cross past the goalkeeper. AEK open up a three-point lead at the top of the Super League table, leaving Olympiakos in turmoil. Just a couple of hours after the game, it became known that coach Besnik Hassi had been relieved of his duties and goalkeeper Stefanos Capino was to be sent to the reserves. All this with a key Champions League match against Juventus looming. The match Greek football needed to be honest, it was just the match which Greek football needed. For the first time in years, it seems that a real title race is going to open up, with AEK, PAOK, Panionios and Olympiakos poised to fight it out to the death. In the meantime, Olympiakos switch their attentions onto the Champions League match in Turin, and AEK prepare to host Austria-Vienna in a Europa League fixture. Written by Sean Nicolides Follow Sean on Twitter at ZenithVan93 Like O-Posts on Facebook You can also follow O-Posts on Twitter at O-Posts.